slathering it on there. Well, you're just making sure you get it on so that it, it wets everything and there's enough of a layer so that it, uh, you know, when it, when it heats up, it'll cover it all. Now, capillary action, you know, the same principle that takes a dot of water on a piece of glass and then you put another piece of glass on top of it and it spreads out. Mm -hmm. um, capillary action is also the same, same principle that uh, allows uh, water to travel up the trunk of a tree against the force of gravity and uh, so on and so on. But that will help the solder spread. If all these fibers, so to speak, are in contact, contact then it makes it easy for the, uh, yeah. the solder to flow. If they're not, you know, the solder will only bridge so big of a gap. So anyway, we flexed it first, and now we're putting on some fire coat. And this will help preheat the piece so that the... Uh, so that the uh, flex doesn't all just fizzle off. Okay, now we got our, our coil of solder here handy. And then we'll Dip the end of our wire in there. And we'll start at this end because this end's already fused together. This end could conceivably come apart and start to unroll. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. What I'm trying to do here is get the, the flux to melt you know, all the way along, and it's already melting on this end. So you get your work hot, and then you touch the solder to it. Okay, so you can see it's, it's feeding in. Yeah. Keep a fairly long grip on the wire because yeah, it's, it's going uh, get warm. It's going to get hot as it goes along. Oh, we dip it in there again. Use a lot of solder.
So, so far we've used just about a foot of solder. Oh, I don't know if your camera records or not, my voice, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's why I keep babbling on here. No, 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 I, it's full video. So now we're just adding piles of it here and there. And I'm going to go back and reflow it. Now this torch head this might be just a shade small for this job. Oh really? Okay. Because yeah. I've got it cranked up about as big as it'll go without blowing out the, the, the flame all the time. See, I got piles of solder all over it. Yeah. And I got, um, I don't know where your poker is, but. Uh, should be somewhere close by. Well, I just got, here, never mind. I just had this one little piece there. Uh, I got it on there now. Oh, there it is. It's right next to my. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so now what we're going to do, if you watch torch I'm heating it you know the long way and I'm also trying to pick up any spare piles of solder and get them up on top let's see if I can crank this up a little more I might do it See those lumps? Mm-hmm. Okay, there, you see them flow? Yep. Show now. Now, when you do this with the laminate, in other words, flat layers, mm -hmm. frequently you will find that the solder collects and drips off the other side. Wow. Uh. But since this one is round, it's like a little lump there. And you can see this the shiny solder. Yeah. You can also see areas that, you know, haven't flowed as much as I would like them to. Okay, I'd say that's pretty good for the first try. Now, with any luck, you get it in one try. <laughs> All right. Right there, you can see the solder is flowing. Okay, now we're just going to rotate it a little bit. Now, the brown spots are not oxidation, like right here and there, those are flux, just like you see on the end of the poker. Okay, yeah. Let me back off a little bit here. So it looks like we got the bulk of it. All soldered at one shot. Let's get a little bit of focus there. All right, if we look like right in here, there's a solder fillet right in there. Uh -huh. So it looks like it's all pretty good. So let's take it out and pickle it. Okay. 